hey guys welcome to Crixus Plays Nostalgia. Now this game was also requested. Um, if you enjoyed this leave a like subscribe and maybe this will become more of than just a couple parts. Um, I do plan to want to try and play this a good bit regardless but um, for the moment I just feel like I can I could record a part or two maybe. And we'll get into what it's all about. So this piece belongs to the gate we seek. Ugh! Darn it. Bring the girl here. No, leave me alone. So I, I, I did not play this long, but I do remember... What is it? This beginning being sort of Indiana Jonesy. There's no need for you to know that. No, stop this. Which was kind of cool. Yeah, right here, in particular. <laughs> Go! Huh? You fool! Who are you? Oh, Gilbert Brown! Gilbert Brown being total badass. There's no escape! Dread, I missed! Who, who are you? That's not going to hold them for long. We better escape on my airship. Alright, and we're thrown right into it. We are Gilbert Brown with this young woman. At the Tower of Babel. So let's go. Um, this game has a traditional turn-based style, as for most uh, uh, RPGs. Gilbert Brown is pretty badass. He's level 20. Let's keep going. Facing off against these weird cult members with Tommy guns at that. I mean, he's taking a Tommy gun to the face. That's how amazing Gilbert Brown is. Hey, hurry up and get on! Why did you help me? There's no way I'm going to let those thugs get their hands on you. Watch out! Huh? That's far enough, Gilbert Brown. You can give that girl back to us now. Hmm. Even stooges like you know who I am. I've gotten pretty famous, eh? Ha! Huh, you're actually pointing your sword at me. Just as I heard, you really are a reckless fool. You'll regret this! You can't possibly defeat me. Oh, we're gonna give it our best shot. Ow. Got this, Gilbert. Do -do 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 -do. Invincible Rage. He healed 55. Oh, I just took that right down. Huh. You have no effect against me with that sword. Prominence! Ah! Mr. Brown! I've had enough of your games. Get ready for your end. Don't be so sure about that. Damn. Huh? Don't let them escape. Open fire. Blocking bullets. Quickly, give me a hand. Uh-oh. Gilbert! Mr. Brown! <laughs> what an epic start there. Who's driving the airship? Really though, who's driving the airship? Concept art des character design? Yoshiteru! Enemy design, Keita Amemiya. This is another game that got kind of bashed, which I feel like it didn't deserve as much hate as it got. It, I mean, it, it just... I, I'm saying this without actually beating it. But, I mean, from what I played and how it looks and the trailers and everything, it, it just looks cute. It looks 
cool. It looks Indiana Jonesy like that's never been done before in RPG like form, which is pretty cool. I mean, exploration. Uh, and it's sort of modern days, modern daisy, day like you know day ish. You don't have enemies that have Tommy guns in an, in your normal RPG. Who is driving the airship, though? That's what I want to know. Or is it crashing right now? It might be crashing. It's landing, like, right in the ocean. Brown's House, London. Okay, but... Miss Brown, Mr. Evan. Evans has come to see you. Mr. Evans, I see. Please let him in. Let him in. No, oh, Margaret, something awful has happened to, to Gilbert. Mr. Mr. Evans, please calm down. What do you mean? What has happened to my husband? Well, just that. No, I can't tell you in front of Eddie. Mr. Evans, Eddie is Gilbert's son. If something has happened to his father, Eddie has a right to know too. Okay, then I'll continue. You see, a few days ago, Gilbert's airship was found in the Mediterranean Sea. And even worse, it looked like he was attacked by someone. There was a great deal of damage all over the ship. And what about Gilbert? Well, Gilbert, Gilbert wasn't on the airship. Oh my goodness. Was there any kind of clue as to what happened? A clue? Well, um, we still don't know anything. We looked so hard for him, but we don't know where he went missing. There's really nothing we can do. In addition to Sky Pirates, an odd group dressed all in black has been causing havoc in the skies. No adventurer will start a search. Is that so? Can't anything at all be done? I'm very sorry, but it sure seems that way. I mean, we're talking about something so strong that even Gilbert couldn't defeat it. Any adventurer with even the slightest bit of sense would never be willing to help us. Then, I'll go! You can't be serious. That's not something you can do, Eddie. Why not? What's wrong with a son wanting to look for his own dad? If no one else will search for him, then I have to go. Eddie, I understand exactly how you feel, but even if you want to look for your father, how do you think you're going to handle that? That's right, Eddie. We really need to leave this kind of thing to, up to an adventure. An adventure? Then I'll just have to become an adventure. I'll find my dad. You'll see. Eddie, do you really... Oh my, jumping right into something head first. That's just the Gilbert thing to do, don't you think? But to become an adventurer, you first have to be admitted to the Adventure Association. But I must warn you, it's easier said than done. If you really do become an adventurer, then I'll certainly be willing to give you a hand. Just don't go ask too much for your of yourself. Well then, I'd best be going. Alright, so we're jumping in. We're playing as Gilbert's son, Eddie. Uh, you got your standard HUD for an RPG. He's got a short sword, headgear, leather coat. Uh, let's talk to dear old mom. Please come home soon and safe. Sure. Uh, Master Edward, I'm confident we'll find Master Gilbert. Would you like to rest? No. Let's go outside. This is the house of the famous adventurer Gilbert Brown. I wonder what he's like. Well, he's missing, so there's that. London Central. That A must be Adventures Association, I assume. Let's go in there. Uh, can I help you? Oh, sorry, never mind. You look a little like someone I know. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Huh? What do you mean? You guys... You guys? Well, go get him, Mr. Adventure. Uh, she's gone. What was with her? Welcome to the London HQ of the Adventurers Association. What can we do you for? I want to become an adventurer. You'd like to register as an adventurer, eh? Well, first-time applicants are asked to take an entrance exam. 
An entrance exam? Yes, an adventure can be rife with danger. We need you to take a test to see if you've got what it takes to be an adventure. As for the subject matter of the exam, you need to exterminate the monster rats that have been seen recently in the sewers. If you could dispose of them, then please report back here when you're finished. Oh, there's one more thing. In addition to monster rats, there are other monsters that live in the sewers, so please be very careful. Just in case you run into any trouble, you might want to save your quest log beforehand. Yeah, she's teaching me how to save. Oh. Which I know how to do. I... Oh, no, those are quick saves. So you can save on the fly, from what it looks like. But yeah, let's go into the sewers. Let's go take down some some sewer monsters and try and become an adventure. Uh, airship docks. Guess we don't need to go there. How do we get to the sewers, though? This looks like it. What are you doing? A mean old r rat stole something valuable from my friend Pad and then escaped into these sewers. Pad went in after it, but he still hasn't come out yet. So are you gonna go in too? Yeah, that's right. Well, if you find Pad, can you bring him back here? Sure, you got it. Here's something that might be helpful. Pad said that there's a thing called a floodgate down there. I think you have to pull the switch to get it open. A floodgate controlled by a switch. Okay, thanks. I'm going in now. Someone named Pad is down here. London sewers. I hate sewers in RPGs. I still have to look for some kid named Pad. I better keep going. Sewer areas are just like a butt. Alright. First bit of combat with Eddie. He did no damage to me. That's what I'm talking about. Eddie, you got that power with you. Let's just go straight across and see what we find. Oh, what is this? Floodgate. So that'll let me cross. Five hundred G. Level two, nice. No, kind of get the guys on skills and how to advance them. You have to go to here. You go to uh, no, not use. You go to advanced slash acquire skills, and um, it has a sort of like a grid, like um, I guess the later Final Fantasy games kind of adapted. So you can learn the overdrive skill, etc., stuff like that. Oh, that must be Pad. <laughs> They're playing with him. Aw, oh, man. These guys don't give up. Hey, watch out! What? Who are you? You must be Pad, right? My name's Eddie. Well, we better work together. Why do you know my name? I'll tell you later. We better take care of these rats first. Pad's got a little, little like, flintlock pistol. What it looks like. Alright, let's do this, Pad. You got my back, I got yours. Crit, nice. That was a close one, eh? You alright? Huh? It's not like I was asking for your help. Well, this isn't the kind of place some fancy rich kid like you come to play in, is it? I didn't come here to play. I'm down here because I want to be an adventurer. An adventurer, huh? For rich folk, this kind of life is just some game. Huh? Well, knock yourself out. See you later. 
Uh, he just ran off. I promised that girl I'd bring him back. Uh, anyhow, I better start looking for more of those monster heads. I've got to clear these sewers. Is this a save? Yes, it is. Paz being kind of a butt, but whatever. Wait, did I save it? It didn't look like I did. Yes, save it. Some heal bottles. That's a new monster I've never seen before. A rat, a uh, flying fish. Oh, come on. It's kind of BS. Gosh, boss fight? Oh, look, that looks like the necklace she lost. Oh, no! So what do you know? The little rich kid went a little too far and got himself in a bit of a jam. Thanks, Pat. Uh, no need to thank me. Consider it payback for last time. Hey, there it is. It's got my medal. So that's what you're looking for? Well, I need to take care of that rat. I guess that settles it. We better help each other out then. Let's take it down, monster rat. It's an ugly rat. Damn, how did Pat already get to level 3? That was quick. Eat it. Level three. That medal it must be pretty important to you. It's a kind of clue. It's the only thing I've got to go, to go on that links me with my mother. I have no idea where she is right now, but I'm sure she's carrying the other half. I'm definitely going to find her. Just half a medal? It's kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. The two the two halves used to be just one piece. Maybe something might happen if they're put together. My dad would probably be able to figure that kind of thing out, but... Your old man? Why? What's he do? He's an adventurer, but now he's gone missing. That's why I want to become an adventurer. That way I can go and find him. You looking for your old man? Then we've both been through a whole lot of trouble because cause of our parents. Hey, yeah, that's right. I'm going to head back to the Adventurers Association now. Why don't you come too? The Adventurers Association? There's all sorts of adventurers there. Maybe some... Adventurers there. Maybe somebody even knows something about your medal. Hmm. The Adventurers Association. Who knows if it'll be any use, but... I guess it couldn't hurt to take a look. Great. Let's get going right away. Pat joined your party. You can now press Y to speak to him. Is that what that said? So what do you want to do now? First, I want to go back to the Adventures Association and get myself registered. Going after your hopes and dreams. Huh. I need to get out of this place, though. Which I currently don't know how to do so yet. I kind of want to explore it more.
Alright, so we're out of there. You found Pad, thanks! So let's take Pad with us over to the Adventures Association. Tell them that we did it. Welcome to London HQ. Oh, you were here a little while ago. I got rid of all the monster rats in the sewers, so that means I passed the test, right? Yes, it does. Congratulations, you're now a member of the Adventures Association. My name is Bridget. I'm the clerk here at the Adventures Association. And who might you be? My name's Edward Brown. Okay, Edward Brown it is. Oh, wait, Brown, you say? Are you related to Gilbert Brown? Yes, he's my father. Do you know him? Of course I do. Gilbert Brown is one of the greatest adventurers in all of Britain. Then you're just a chip off the old block. I'm sure you'll become an amazing adventurer, just like your father. Thank you. I hope so, too. This is proof that you're an adventurer. Here you go. What is it? This is your adventures notebook. It's a useful notepad where you record all of your adventures. From now on, I'm sure it will prove helpful to you in, in many different ways. You've acquired the adventures notebook. Well, with that, you will now be considered a fellow adventurer. By coming in to the reception desk, you, receive, you can receive a wide range of quests. A short while ago, a man named Mr. Evans came by looking for a boy named Eddie. He must have been looking for you. He left a message. He said that if you're able to become an adventurer without any trouble, go down to the airship dock. The airship dock? Yes. It's a facility to the south side of town. Let's go there, because I feel like we, we're just about to pick up our own airship. No, I heard Eddie. If you came here, then that means you were admitted to the Adventurers Association. Well, just what you'd expect from Gilbert's son. That's quite a feat, you know. Who's this? This is Pad. He's joined my adventuring party. No, you found the partner already. That certainly is encouraging. Uh, I'm not his, I'm not in his party exactly. By pure luck, we're both just looking for the same kind of thing. So anyway, so anyway, Mr. Evans, why did you ask me to come down here? All right, there's only one reason for that, and here it is. What, what is this that? It's Gilbert's airship, the Maverick. After it was found on the Mediterranean Sea a few days ago, I fixed it up. Since you're his son, I think you should use it. My dad's airship. Well, even though I repaired it, it's still not in perfect shape, actually. The one thing I couldn't fix was the most important thing, the flight core. You won't be able to fly high up, but if you're following Gilbert's trail, then this may just do the trick. But even if we're looking to track him down, where do you think we're supposed to go? It just so happens that I have a clue for you. The last time I met Gilbert, he told me he was on his way to Cairo. Cairo? That's a city in Egypt, right? If we keep flying southeast from London, then cross over the Mediterranean Sea, it should be right there. So for your first flight, why don't you travel to Cairo? I'm sure you'll learn something about Gilbert once you get there. Well, I'll be in the Royal Museum if you need anything. Please come and see me. Okay, I got it. Guess we should leave for Cairo. A maiden voyage <laughs> on the Maverick. Where's the girl at, though? She she fell off of it. So this is what it's like to be up in the air. My dad saw this kind of scenery all the time. Eh? You know there are monsters and sky pirates up here. We better pay, play it a bit safe. Ah, what's that? Here they come. Let's make them pay. Airship battle. Nah. Let's go for it. Play it attack. This is cool. Uh, shoot him with the gun pad. So each character is manning a part of the airship. Salt do. Oh, just a more powerful strike. Go for it, pad. Oh, 
We somehow managed to win the fight, but I never knew how dangerous it was being up in here in the sky. Yeah, if things get too tough up here, maybe we'd better go back to the airship dock. Yeah, you're right. Well, first things first. Let's keep going to Cairo. Which way was it again? When you're flying the airship, it might be a good idea to keep one eye on the map. If you press select, you can switch from the regular map over to the world map. Then when you're on the world map... Okay, from here Cairo is to the southeast. First you gotta turn the ship south and head out toward the Mediterranean. Alright. So... Southeast. This is another ship. Air Blitz. That looks like uh, uh, Articuno a bit. Alright. So, Mediterranean, which is here. And then you gotta head east, right? This looks like a deserted area. There's Cairo. So this is Cairo. My dad came by here. Well, it'd be great if we could find a clue, eh? Alright, so I'm gonna end this first part here. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you liked it, leave a like. It really helps out. Um, and maybe I'll do more, uh, depending, I guess. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.